I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. It's again a privilege for me to be here. I mean, in this country, and to meet you all. Most of you have met before. And today we shall share God's word with you again. We believe that God's word remains forever. All interpretations will be gone. But this original word of God remains for all eternity. Amen. And the good part of it is that this word is the seed. Et la meilleure des choses, c'est que cette parole est une sémence. We can only reap what we sow. Nous allons récolter uniquement ce que nous sémons. That's in the nature and also in the spiritual. If we look into the religious world of today, every religion has a seed. And every seed multiplies and multiplies. And the same applies to Christianity. Every church has their own seed. And they have got members and members and members. But Jesus Christ was the promised seed. Right from the Garden of Eden. Genesis 3, verse 15. And all the true sons and daughters of God are also the promised seed. In Christ, the Son of God, we were adopted again to take our original position. So in Him, we are what we should be for all eternity. I am going to refer to a number of scriptures. And especially to Matthew 13, where our Lord speaks about himself being the sower of the good seed. Also in Mark chapter 4, Luke chapter 8, the Lord sows the good seed. And then finally, the children of the kingdom are the good seed. That's absolutely great. Amen. First, it's the word, the seed. And when the seed comes up, then you are born again. And you are a child of God. So we understand by the grace of God that we're now living very, very shortly before the return of Christ. Everybody who knows the word of God just a little bit will understand that Bible prophecies are now being fulfilled and also the predictions are coming to pass whether it's with Israel, with the nations, with the churches all the Bible prophecies are being fulfilled all the predictions are coming to pass and our Lord said when you see all these things come to pass then you know the time is near even at the door so we're here to share God's word with you. Especially the promised word for this day. I beg you, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, to understand God's plan of salvation by divine revelation. Amen. 
prendre le plan du salut de Dieu par une révélation de Dieu. To become part of God's plan for today. Et de devenir le plan de Dieu pour aujourd'hui. And only if you believe the promised word for today. You have part in the fulfillment of that promised word. It's absolutely great to start with the beginning of the New Testament. To know how the end will be. The New Testament begins with the ministry of John the Baptist. And he was a promised prophet. He was a promised voice. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3. A voice cries in the wilderness. It was a promise. 800 years later, it was a reality. The voice was there. The way was prepared. In Malachi chapter 3, verse 1, I will send my messenger before my face. There was a promise. 400 years later, that promise was a reality. The voice was heard, the way was prepared. And according to Luke 16, 16, all the prophets prophesied right until John. And from that time, the kingdom of God was being preached. Then Jesus Christ continued his ministry, his suffering to death. And everything was according to the word of God. This we must understand in the fear of God. That in the kingdom of God, all things happen according to the word and will of God. This is not only the word of God. It's the will of God. So in the word is the will of God. And only if we are found in the word of God. The will of God can happen through us. Of our Lord we read. In the books of Hebrews, in the 10th chapter, that he came to do the will of God. And his statement was, as it is written, as it is written, Hebrews chapter 10, Verse 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the book it is written of me to do the will of God. Alors je dis, voici, je viens dans le rouleau du livre. Il est question de moi pour faire, ô oh Dieu, ta volonté. It was written about him. Cela fut écrit à propos de lui. First it was a promise. Premièrement, cela fut une promesse. Then it was a fulfillment. Et cela devint un accomplissement. Verse 10. Le verset 10. By which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. C'est en vertu de cette volonté que nous sommes sanctifiés par l'offrande du corps de Jésus Christ une fois pour toutes. By his will, by his sacrifice, by the redemption through Jesus Christ. C'est en vertu de cette volonté que nous sommes sanctifiés. Which, which was in the will of God. We are sanctified once for all. Verse 12. But this man, after he offered one's sacrifice for sin, ever sat down at the right hand of God. Verse 13 and 14. From henceforth, expecting or till all the enemies are mine, his footstool. Il attend désormais que ses ennemis soient devenus son marchepied. 
Now listen please to verse 14. For by one offering he has perfected forever them that are sanctified. Car par une seule offrande il a amené à la perfection pour toujours ceux qui sont sanctifiés. How can we be sanctified? Comment devons-nous être sanctifiés? John 17, 17. Jean 17, 17. Sanctify them in the truth. Sanctify them in the truth. Thy word is the truth. Amen. So we see in the word of God, according to the word of God, all things take place in the kingdom of God. But we must put our will into the will of God. Like the Apostle Paul could say, now I live no more. But Christ lives in me. I wish to compare with you two scriptures. Matthew 26, Matthew 26, verse 39. Le Matthew 26, verse 20, eh, 39. Matthew, le chapitre 26, le and, verset 39. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oui, ayant fait quelques pas en avant, il se jeta sur sa face et pria ainsi, O oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Mon père, s'il est possible que cette coupe s'éloigne de moi, toutefois, non pas ce que je veux, mais ce que tu veux. Please pay attention to the precise wording. Écoutez à la précision de ces paroles. But not as I will, but as thou wilt. Toutefois, non, pas ce que je veux, mais ce que tu veux. Is that your prayer? Est-ce que cela est ta prière? Is that my prayer? Est-ce que cela est ma prière? Have you committed your will into the will of God? As-tu déjà soumis ta volonté à la volonté de Dieu? No, as I will. Non, pas ce que je veux. But as you will. Mais ce que tu veux. Mark 14. Mark le chapitre 14. Verse 36. Le verset 36. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Il disait, Abba, Père, toutes choses que sont possibles. Take away this cup from me. Et loin de moi cette coupe. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what thou wilt. Toutefois, non pas ce que je veux, mais ce que tu veux. In one scripture, dans l'une des passages, not as I will, pas comme je le veux. In the second, not what I will, mais dans le deuxième, pas ce que je veux. But what you will, mais ce que tu veux. As you will, Et comme tu le veux. Thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Amen. Ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme cela est fait au ciel. And only in the will of God. Seulement dans la volonté de Dieu. We shall reach perfection and be ready when the Lord returns. Coming back to the beginning of the New Testament, to know how the end will be. It was a prophetic age. That means to say prophecies were being fulfilled. And John the Baptist was a man sent from God. With the message of God. To the people of God. To make ready a people and prepare the way. He was a friend of the bridegroom. He said, whoever has the bride is a bridegroom. But he was just the friend of the bridegroom to prepare. To bring bridegroom and bride together right at the beginning of the New Testament. Not to continue in the Jewish religion, but in the will of God. From that moment, a 
the New Testament began. À partir de ce temps-là, le Nouveau Testament commença. We have to understand. Nous devons comprendre. It's going to finish in the same way. Que cela va aussi terminer de la même manière. And I have got good news for you, beloved brothers and sisters. God watches over His word. Amen. Dieu veille sur sa parole. And when the time comes, et quand le temps arrive, He fulfills what He promised. Amen. Il accomplit ce qu'il a promis. I'm going to show you from the scripture. Je vais vous le montrer. How at the first coming of Christ, for instance, one part was fulfilled, and how the second part is now being fulfilled. In Malachi chapter four, verse five and six, we read. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming. Of the great and terrible day of the Lord. Voici, je vous enverrai dit le prophète avant que le jour de l'Éternel arrive. Please pay attention to the next verse. Attention, prêtez attention à votre prochain verset. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. Il ramènera les cœurs de pères à leurs enfants. And the hearts of the children to their fathers. And the cœur des enfants à leurs pères. Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. The peur que je viens frapper le pays d'interdit. Please remember this word: turn, turn, turn. Souvenez-vous de ce mot: tourner, tourner. Turn the hearts, turn the hearts. Tourner les cœurs. Not the heads. Pas les têtes. But the hearts. Mais tourner les cœurs. Turn the hearts. Tourner les cœurs. Let us read Luke chapter one. Allons dans Luc le chapitre un. Luke chapter one. Luc le chapitre un. Verse sixteen and seventeen. Le verset seize et dix-sept. And many of the children of Israel shall be turned, turned to the Lord their God. Il ramènera plusieurs des fils d'Israël au Seigneur leur Dieu. This is about John the Baptist's ministry. Cela concerne le ministère de Jean Baptiste. I read again, and many of the children of Israel shall be turned to the Lord their God. Je répète, il ramènera plusieurs des fils d'Israël au Seigneur leur Dieu. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah. Il marchera devant Dieu avec l'esprit et la puissance d'Élie. To, to turn the hearts, to turn again, to Pour turn. Pour ramener les cœurs, encore ramener. To turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. Pour ramener les cœurs de pères vers les enfants. And the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. Et les rebelles à la sagesse des justes. And to make ready a people for the Lord. Afin de préparer au Seigneur un peuple bien disposé. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the ministry of John the Baptist. Ceci fut le ministère de Jean Baptiste. Did you pay precise attention? Et avez-vous prêté attention? Only the first part of Malachi 4 is mentioned. Là, ce n'est que la première partie de Malachi 4 qui est mentionnée. Not the second part. Pas la seconde partie. To turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. De ramener les cœurs de pères vers les enfants. The second part to turn the hearts la, of the children to the fathers. La deuxième partie de ramener les cœurs des enfants aux pères. Is not here. Is not here. Pas, n'est pas contenu là. Because it was not fulfilled then. Parce que cela ne fut pas accompli. It is being fulfilled now. Mais cela est accompli aujourd'hui. The word of God is so precise. Amen. La parole de Dieu est si précise. Everything in its precise order is right. Chose est dans un ordre et dans sa place. So you see here in the Holy Scriptures. Là vous voyez dans les Saintes Écritures. And now we're going to go to 1 Kings chapter 18. Allons dans 1 Roi le chapitre. To show you what turn actually means. Pour voir ce que le mot ramener veut to, to turn the hearts pour ramener to God. Pour tourner les cœurs à Dieu. Verse, first Kings chapter 18. Un roi chapitre 18. And here we shall read not too many places, but at least verse 37. Nous pouvons peut-être lire seulement le verset 37. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned, hast turned their hearts back again. 
Réponds-moi, éternel, réponds-moi, afin que ces peuples reconnaissent que c'est toi, éternel, qui es Dieu, et que c'est toi qui ramène leur cœur. To turn, to turn. Qui ramène, qui ramène. Now here you've got the story, the experience, what Elijah's ministry was to accomplish. Ici, vous voyez, vous avez l'histoire ainsi que l'expérience qu'avait eu. To gather God's people. To rebuild the altar of the Lord. To take the twelve stones according to the twelve tribes. And put the sacrifice on the altar. Put water upon the sacrifice. And then get the people together look towards heaven and the God that answers by fire is the true God and the, the actual bit that's in French now, let me think about it in English the, the, the actual purpose the actual purpose was to turn the hearts of God's people back to the Lord their God to take them away from all the Asherah priests from all the Baal priests because they were going astray in every direction and God sent the prophet for the one purpose to stop them in their own ways in their own worships in the worship of other gods and bring them back to himself to his word to his will so that there is a relationship again between the Lord God and his people Israel that thou hast turned their hearts back again from this scripture we understand the promise I will send you Elijah the prophet and he shall turn he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children the first part happened in John the Baptist's ministry the second part is happening now and I think you all know that uh, God has used a man in our time the promise remains I will send you Elijah the prophet John the Baptist came before the day of grace before the day of salvation Isaiah 49 from verse 6 to 8 when they were read about the day of salvation 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2 read about the day of salvation so the ministry of John the Baptist was 2,000 years ago and the, the, the day of the Lord was not then because the day of the Lord will burn like an oven and before the day of the Lord will be the sun will turn into darkness and the moon into blood before the great day of the Lord will be Isaiah chapter 13 from verse 6 Joel chapter 2 throughout all the Old Testament prophets and then in the New Testament 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 10 the day of the Lord will come will burn like an oven even in Revelation you have it in Revelation it's in the sixth seal about the day of the Lord so we take Old and New Testament together in Revelation chapter 6 
In the sixth scene, we read Dans le sixième son, nous disons, from verse 12, à de 12 And I beheld, and he opened the sixth scene, and lo, there was a great earthquake. Je regardais quand il ouvrit le sixième seau et il y eut un grand tremblement de terre. And the sun became like sackcloth, the hair of hair. Le soleil devint noir comme un sac de train. And the moon became like blood. La lune entière devint comme du sang. You can go to Matthew 24. Vous pouvez aller dans Matthieu 24. You can read it in in Mark 13. Vous pouvez le lire dans Marc 13. In Luke 21, dans Luke 21, about the end time. Concernant le temps de la fin. So, if we would know what God has done 2,000 years ago, alors si nous connaissons ce que Dieu a fait il y a 2,000 ans, it would not help us unless we understand what He promised for this day. Cela ne nous aidera pas à moins que nous comprenions ce qu'il a promis pour aujourd'hui. We live now. Nous vivons maintenant. And we must know the promised word for today. Et nous devons connaître la promesse pour aujourd'hui. Here, if you read in Matthew 24, si vous lisez dans Matthieu 24, it says in verse 29, il dit au verset 29, Matthew 24, 29, Matthieu 24, le verset 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days, aussitôt après ces jours de détresse, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall give its light no more. Le soleil s'obscurcira, la lune ne donnera plus sa lumière. So that will take place even after the tribulation. Ceci aura lieu juste après la tribulation. After the rapture, after the tribulation. Après l'enlèvement et la tribulation. But we're interested to know what takes place before. Mais ce qui est important pour nous, c'est de connaître ce qu'il y aura ou qui prendra place avant. What is our promise in God's word? Quelle est notre promesse dans la parole de Dieu? Again, from the Old and New Testament. Aussi de l'Ancien au Nouveau Testament. I will send you Elijah the prophet. Je vous enverrai before the great and dreadful day of the Lord comes. I want you to know this, beloved. We believe the word of God. No interpretation. Just the word of God. And therefore we go from scripture to scripture. In Matthew 17, something very special happened. Dans Matthieu 17, une chose étrange arrivait. And our Lord and three disciples went to the Mount of Transfiguration. Notre Seigneur et trois disciples allaient à la montagne de Transfiguration. Moses and Elijah appeared. Moïse et Élie leur apparurent. And there were such a reality. Et c'était tellement réel. That the apostle Peter said. Que l'apôtre Pierre avait dit. I'm going to build three tabernacles. Je vais bâtir trois tentes. One for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. Une pour toi, une pour Moïse et l'autre pour. And then of course the supernatural glory of God came down. Oui, la gloire surnaturelle de Dieu a paru. This is my beloved son. Disant que celui-ci est mon fils bien-aimé. Hear ye him. Écoutez-le. Hear ye him. Écoutez-le. And when they came from the mountain. Et quand ils descendirent de la montagne. In Matthew 17 verse 10. Dans Matthieu 17 le verset 10. And his disciples asked him, saying. Les disciples lui posèrent cette question. Why then say the scribes Elijah must first come? Pourquoi donc les scribes disent-ils qu'il doit venir premièrement? And now comes the answer. Oui, la réponse a suivi. And Jesus answered and said unto them. Jésus répondit. Elijah truly shall first come and restore all things. Il est vrai qu'il doit venir et rétablir toutes choses. These are the words of Jesus. Ce sont là les paroles de Jésus. This is the divine answer for you and for me. Ceci est une réponse divine pour toi et pour moi. And here is something wonderful. C'est là que aussi une chose merveilleuse. The moment you get the answer from the lips of the Lord, une fois que tu reçois la réponse des lèvres du Seigneur, you never go again to a pastor. Tu n'as plus besoin d'aller voir un pasteur. Or to a bishop. Ou d'aller chez un prêtre. Or to anyone. You don't go. Because flesh and blood will never reveal it to you. Divine revelation comes by the Holy Spirit. According to the Word of God. And here's also a little mystery. In Matthew chapter 17, our Lord also speaks about the ministry of John the Baptist. Which has already happened. So the future ministry is a reality. Le ministère futur est aussi une réalité. 
And the past ministry is a reality. You cannot take one and leave the other. Both are reality. I read verse 11 again. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elijah truly shall first come and restore all things. That's true. Cela est vrai. Amen. 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 And in verse 13, Et au verset 13 we read, nous lisons, And the disciples understood he spoke unto them about John the Baptist. When he spoke about the future ministry, our Lord very clearly says, Elijah truly shall first come. And something else, beloved, you must always find the key word in the scripture. Here you have the word restore. He shall restore, restore. If you go to the ministry of John the Baptist, si vous allez au de Jean -Baptiste, it's always said about prepare. Il est dit de Not a single time restore. Always prepare, prepare, prepare. Et de prepare. Isaiah 40 verse 3, prepare. Esaïe 40 verset 3, prepare. Malachi 3 verse 1, prepare. Malachi 3 verset 1, prepare. Matthew 11 verse 10, prepare. Matthew 11 verset 11, prepare. Mark 1 verse 2 and 3, prepare. Mark 1 verset 1 et 2, toujours. Luke 1 17, prepare. Luke 17, 1 17, plutôt. Luke 1 76, prepare. Luke 1 76, prepare. Always prepare, prepare. Always prepare, prepare. If it's spoken about John the Baptist ministry. When the ministry is spoken of which has to take place before the day of the Lord comes. You have the word restore. And this is what Elijah actually did. He restored the altar. He turned the hearts of God's people back to God. It was a restoration. And before the return of Christ, there must be a restoration of all things. And God always uses a prophet. The word comes to the prophet. And God confirms His word. I will show to you a few scriptures to show you from the Old and New Testament that we believe as the scripture says. Isaiah chapter 42. Isaiah chapter 2, 42 which speak about the Lord, our Savior, as is found confirmed in Matthew 12 from 17 to 23. When our Lord came, this scripture was fulfilled in his ministry. Isaiah 42, verse 7, to open the blind eyes, to bring the prisoner out from prison, and those who are in darkness out of the prison houses. This was his ministry. Also Isaiah chapter 61, Luke chapter 4, where all these scriptures are confirmed. So when the Lord had his ministry, it was to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners, and to preach liberty to all who are captive. Then in Isaiah 42, verse 22, we read, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. 
un peuple pillé, dépouillé. They are all taken in snares and holes. On les a tous enchaînés dans des cavernes. And they're all hidden in prison houses. Plongés dans des cachots. They are all for a prey. Ils ont été mis au pillage. And none says deliver. Et personne ne les délivre. They're for a spoil. Dépouillé. And none says restore. Et personne ne dit restitue. This was a trouble. Cela est le problème. And it's a problem today. In actuality, all religions are like prison houses. And even if you look into Christianity, into the 375 different denominations, they're all like spiritual prison houses. The people are spiritually bound in all denominations. And therefore God sends a prophet and fulfills his word and then the preaching goes on and the captives are delivered Amen. the blind see Amen. the lame walk Amen. and God confirms his word Amen. so here at this time nobody said to deliver or make free but that is the purpose our Lord came for to deliver to make free to open the eyes and to turn our hearts again to him in his word. Here and further in Isaiah chapter 48, Isaiah chapter 48, we read in verse 12, Listen unto me, O Jacob and Israel, my call, I am me, I am the first and the last. Isaiah 49, verse 6. And he said unto me, Is it a light thing that thou shouldst be the servant to raise the tribes of Jacob? Il dit, c'est peu que tu sois mon serviteur pour élever les tribus de Jacob. Et pour ramener les restes d'Israël. I will also give thee a light to the nations. Je te t'ai pour être la lumière des nations. That thou mayest be as the salvation unto the ends of the earth. Pour porter mon salut jusqu'aux extrémités de la terre. What a wonderful promise. The promise was fulfilled in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In Isaiah chapter 58, we have the actual answer. Isaiah 58, verse 12. And they that are of thee shall build the old waste places. So thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations. And thou shalt be called the repairer of the bridge. And the restorer of the path to dwell in. That's a promise in God's word. This we do experience right now. I tell you the truth. This is God's time for God's people. The last call is going forth. And before the final uniting of all religions and churches, under Rome, under the Antichrist system, the calling out of all the true children of God must take place. First, the calling out, and then the judgment. You can go to the days of Noah. You can go to the days of Lot and Abraham. In Genesis chapter 18, the Lord visited Abraham with two angels. And you know, I knew Brother Brennan for 10 years. 
And exactly ten times. Et exactement dix fois. Brother Branham turned his back to the congregation. Frère Branham avait tourné son dos à la congrégation. And God revealed to him. Et Dieu lui avait révélé. With his back turned to the congregation. Avec son dos tourné contre l'assemblée. What the person had that he should pray for. C'est que la personne avait un problème pour qu'il prie pour lui. Because he saw the supernatural light. Parce qu'il voyait la lumière sur la Come upon that person. Qui descendait sur la personne. And then God revealed unto him. Et Dieu lui révélait. In a vision, dans la vision, what the person is praying for or what the needs are. I've seen it many times. Vu cela de and in all the services in Germany and in the USA, dans tous les services, que ce soit en Allemagne, ou I Allemagne, saw it evening for evening. J ai, j ai vu ça chaque soir. How the God of heaven came down in a supernatural way. To confirm his presence. If you read Genesis 18, you just read. And the Lord had his back turned to the tent. You read that uh, Sarah was in the tent. Behind him, behind him. But what is the meaning of it? Alors, quelle est la signification when the angel came to Brother Brandon on May the 7, 1946, May the 7, 1946 he explained about Abraham, il lui expliqua sur Abraham how the same ministry would now repeat. Comment le même ministère allait se répéter. The angel even mentioned John chapter 1. Et l'ange avait même fait mention de Jean le chapitre 1. The angel mentioned John chapter 4. Et l'ange avait mentionné Jean chapitre 4. When he spoke to Brother Brennan. Quand il parlait à Frère Brennan. On May the 7th. May 1946. About 11 p.m. C'était vers 11 heures. Just showing, showing you Brother Brennan. From the scriptures. That the same sign would repeat. That in the thoughts of the heart would be revealed. Like in John chapter 1. When Philip called Nathaniel, <coughs> our Lord looked at him and said, Thou art the true Israelite. <coughs> In whom there is no God. He said, Master, since when do you know me? Before Philip called you, I've seen you under the tree. When Andrew called his brother Simon, our Lord looked at him. Then he said, Your name is Simon. And your father's name is Jonas. And he fell on his face and said, Lord, thou art the king of Israel. <laughs> but what does it mean to you? Is it just written? Or does it have a meaning? When our Lord spoke to the woman at the well, bring your husband. I have no husband. Five your hand. The one you have now. Is not your husband. <laughs> mm. And the woman says, <laughs> We know that the Messiah comes. He will tell us all things. <laughs> but who are you? <laughs> I mean, that speaks to you. And it was finished. It was all. She understood by divine revelation. Moses had said, God will give you a prophet like me. Deuteronomy chapter 18 from verse 15 to 18. And now he was dead. But here is a secret. Only the true elect understood because it was meant to be for them. Praise the Lord. It was the same then as it is now. In those days, the people thought the religious leaders he knows the people, he knows their thoughts, their life and so forth. But they did not know the promised word of God. And therefore they misjudged the ministry of our Lord. But only those who were elected before the foundation of the world. 
la fondation de Cela était destiné pour eux. And they understood. Et ils they had part in that ministry. Leur partie dans ce ministère. It's the same today. La même chose aujourd'hui. You all know Brother Brandon was used of God. Vous savez que Frère Malam fut utilisé de Dieu. In an actual great way. D'une manière si puissante. Never had a man who walked on earth in ministry like he had. Jamais on a entendu qu'il y ait un homme qui a marché sur la terre. Not a prophet, no prophet, no apostle. Aucun prophète ni prophète ou apôtre. Had such a ministry that can be directly compared with the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we show to you from the scriptures, our Lord could even say, "Go into the village. There is a man carrying the water." Carrying in your house, we should have the Passover. Uh, he had to be a prophet. A son of man, he was prophet. A son of God, he saved you. A son of David, he king. A son of Abraham, he's the heir of all things. So everything in its place. But I say again, <laughs> only the true children of God, <laughs> who are born of the seed of the word of God, <laughs> believing the promised word of God, <laughs> they will have part in the ministry God gave unto us. <laughs> and it's very important, beloved brothers and sisters, <laughs> Because Brother Branham was told on June the 13th, I mean uh, in, in 1933, June 11, 33, Le 11 juin 1933, as John the Baptist was sent to forerun the first coming of Christ, you are sent with a message which will forerun the second coming of Christ. I heard it from the lips of Brother Branham. I drove with him in the same car. I ate with him at the same table. As I said, I was in his meetings in Germany, in the USA. I had tea in his house. So I knew the man of God. But that's not enough. You must know the God of the man of God. You must know the Lord personally. And here we must make the statement. You must know the Lord personally. You must know the promised word by divine revelation. You must have a personal relationship with the Lord. There are many who say, if you believe the message, you are saved. No message will save you. Only the Savior will save you. But then if you are saved, you believe the message. You believe the word of God. If you don't believe the word of God, you are an unbeliever. If you say, I believe, and you don't believe the word of God, Satan also believes. And all the religious wife believes. It doesn't count. You must believe, as the scripture says. And then the word of God is revealed to you by the Holy Spirit. So we understand by the grace of God the seriousness of the message of the hour. To restore all things. To turn our hearts back to God and His Word. And the last sermon must be as the first sermon was. Acts chapter 2. From verse 36 right to 39, 41. 
du verset 36 et jusqu'à en bas. Repent every one of you. Repentez-vous, chacun de vous. Every bad time. Et que chacun soit baptisé. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom du Seigneur Jésus Christ. To confirm the remission of your sins. Pour confirmer la rémission de vos péchés. Remission doesn't come by baptism. La remission ne vient pas par le baptême. Remission comes by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. All our sins are forgiven because Christ died for us. Because His blood was shed on the cross of Calvary. Praise the Lord. And there was divine life in the divine blood. And He shed His blood. He gave His life. Il a donné sa vie to redeem us. At the moment we come to the Lord and we believe in Him as our personal Savior, then if we believe, we're baptized for the remission of our sins. And we shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, we need to take the second part seriously. You know, I'm very glad if I hear that people are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. It, it gives me a joy to know that people believe and are baptized according to the word of God. But if the second part is not fulfilled in our life, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Because this promise is unto you. And unto your children. And to as many as the Lord your God shall call. The children of promise. Believe the word of promise. And receive the spirit of promise. So even for you beloved brothers. Who preach the word of God. Preach the full gospel. <laughs> preach the full gospel. <laughs> preach, repent every one of you. Amen. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises unto you. And to all who are far off. And to your children. Amen. You understand? Amen. The time has come <laughs> to put oil into our lamps. <laughs> and the time has come <laughs> to take the spare oil with us <laughs> in the best. Not only the revelation or the illumination, and I showed it recently in a practical way. You know, in the olden days, they had lamps with oil. Ils avaient de lampes avec un réservoir. And there was a reservoir with oil. Il y avait un réservoir en dessous de la lampe. And then there was a wick going up. Il y avait aussi la mèche qui montait. And then when the wick was lit. Et une fois que la mèche était allumée. There was light. Il y avait la lumière. First it was the oil. Avant tout, il y avait. Then there was a connection from the oil to the light. Et il y avait une connexion entre La lumière et l'huile. And then there was light. Et il y avait la lumière. Not only oil. Pas seulement l'huile. Not only the lamp. Non seulement la lampe. But there was light. Mais il y avait la lumière. That's the purpose God has given us the revelation. C'est ça le but pour lequel Dieu nous a donné la révélation. And to have the container with us. Et avoir un réservoir avec nous. Is to refill, to refill all the time. De remplir à tout moment. And I said to our brother today. Et je dis à mon frère aujourd'hui. Every service. Chaque service. Must be a refilling. Amen. Praise the Lord. Always refilling. Yes. Chaque fois rempli. God leads us from clarity to clarity. Amen. From revelation to revelation. From light to light. A little different than a brother from Ghana told me a few days ago. I don't say this as a joke. 
Je ne dis pas ceci comme une blague. To, uh, Mais cela m'a fait rire. Il n'y a pas longtemps je prêchais à Kumasi au Ghana. And when this brother called me on Monday, Quand ce frère m'a téléphoné le lundi, he said, Frank, we're still in darkness. il a dit, frère Franck, nous sommes encore, oh, nous sommes toujours dans le ténèbre. Et j'ai pensé, pourquoi Why? Alors je lui dis mais pourquoi? I said I, I preach in your place. Et je lui dis mais je prêche chez vous. And it is that are in darkness have seen a great light. Et il est écrit que ceux qui étaient dans, dans le ténèbre ont vu une grande lumière. Yes, how come you're still in darkness? Alors je lui dis mais comment se peut-il que tu es plus dans le ténèbre? Don't laugh. Il faut pas rire. You know what happened? Oh, he said, I'm not speaking about spiritual darkness. <laughs> we need an aggregate to, to make a currency so we have life. <laughs> so I was speaking about spiritual light. <laughs> and spiritual darkness. And he said, we have a brother. Il a dit, frère, send me $1,200. Il m'a dit, envoie-moi $1,200. <laughs> so that we can come out of darkness. Pour que nous puissions sortir de ténèbres. I thought, I thought, oh, how, how, what a comparison. Je me dis, mais quelle comparaison. I, I misunderstood it at Alors, first. Alors, j'ai jamais mal compris. But, but we understand by the grace of God. Hey, hey, hey. You have to have the connection. The oil, the oil, the lamp, la lamp, the light, la lumière. and we, the light must come and the connection must be to la the mèche, oil. La doit être dans, 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 dans oui. My beloved brothers and sisters, oui. the God of heaven has visited our generation. Dieu du ciel a visité notre génération. And as I try to say Comme to you, I had a great privilege. Eu un grand privilège. I've seen the supernatural with my own eyes. Vu les avec mes yeux. I even saw the picture with the light over the head of Brother Graham. In Washington, D.C. À Washington, DC. And when I spoke to Brother Green about it just three months ago, he said, I never heard of anyone ever having been in Washington. To have seen that picture in the Hall of Art. But it's, it's part of my mentality. Mais cela fait partie de ma manière, de ma mentalité. In December 69, Au mois de on my way to the Tucson Convention, quand à une à Tucson, I stopped in Washington. Je arrêté à and I searched all morning. Et cherché toute la matinée. And finally I found the place. Et trouvé la place. About a quarter past 11 in the morning. Presque 11 heures le quart de ma yes. I was in that place. À cet -là. I held the picture in my own hands. Tenu la photo entre mes mains. The original photo la taken photo. on January the 24th. La photo originale prise le 24 janvier. Examined by Dr. George E. Lacey. In place in Washington. Et qui fut placé à Washington. In the Hall of Arts. Dans la maison on Constitution Avenue. I was there. Là. And brothers and sisters, I tell you, soeurs, je vous dis, I believe what Brother Branham said. Je crois que but as I also told you, Mais ceci, je I wanted to see it with my own eyes. Je aussi le voir avec mes that I can say what my eyes have seen, what my ears have heard. God has given me a great privilege. Dieu donné un grand privilège. And with it, a great responsibility. Et cela aussi, avec une grande responsabilité. The message of the hour is the greatest message God has ever Amen. given. Le message de l'heure est l'un des plus grands messages que Dieu ait donné. It's the message of a total restoration of all things. C'est le message de la pleine restauration de toutes choses. And the time is about. Et le temps est presque. And we shall not only teach and preach these things, but they will see that will see the accomplishment of it. God keeps his word. First, it's a promise. 
D'abord, c'est une promesse. And then it's a fulfillment. Et en fait, c'est l'accomplissement. Let's summarize what we're trying to say here in this service. Résumons ce que nous avions voulu dire dans ce service. God has made promises in His Word. Dieu a fait des promesses dans sa parole. For the first coming of Christ. Pour la première venue de Christ. For the second coming of Christ. Et aussi pour le retour de Christ. He made promises for Israel. Il a fait des promesses pour Israël. Promises for the church. Il a fait de Predictions in general. Les prédictions en général. What will take place on earth? Aussi ce qui aura lieu ici sur terre. About all the catastrophes. Pour tout ce qui concerne les catastrophes. We we have understood these things. Nous avons compris toutes ces choses. So we also understand. Aussi nous avons compris. Our part in God's word. Notre partie dans la parole de Dieu. Restoration. Our hearts to be turned to God. Away from all the priests and what they say. Away from all the ways men have shown to God. Forget it. Return to the Lord. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. He is all in all. And we just have to understand as the Jews return to the homeland, they must return to have part in the promise given to them. The two prophets Les deux prophètes, they will not come to this city. Ils ne viendront pas dans cette ville. They will not come to Washington. Ils n'iront pas à Washington. They will come to Jerusalem. Ils iront plutôt à Jérusalem. And the Jews must be there. Et les Juifs doivent être là. Where the ministry of the prophets will be. Où le ministère de ces deux prophètes sera au In the promised land. Dans la terre promise. The promised prophets will speak to them for three and a half years. Les prophètes promis leur parleront pendant une période. According to Revelation chapter 11, according to also Zechariah chapter 4, the two olive trees. But this, but this is the main point. We must be there where God's promises are being fulfilled. Everything I should forget. Let's forget. Let's forget. You must be there where God fulfills His promises. And before He fulfills His promises with you, you have to believe them. And we say, by God's grace, we shall show you tomorrow the importance to believe what the Scripture says. Because all churches have their own teachings. But the church of the living God has the teachings of the word of God. Amen. And therefore, Brother Branham was sent to bring us back to the original teachings of the apostolic fathers. We don't go to the third or fourth century. We go back to the beginning. <laughs> we don't go back to what Athanasius said or Arius said or Augustine said. He did not speak to me. We go back to what Peter said. What Paul said. What Paul said. We go back to the word of God. And if you believe as the scripture says, you will see the end of God. And the certain as the 144,000 will receive it under the ministry of the two prophets. Now the seeing takes place under the prophetic ministry under God's promised word for this day. And there we are. The promised word, the promised children, and the promised Holy Spirit. Ephesians 1, 13. After you have received the word of truth, you are sealed by the spirit of promise. Please, and never forget it. 
write it or make the Holy Spirit write it into your hands. Et le dans votre a promise prophet for this time pour ce temps, with the promised word avec une promise, to God's people. To those that have an ear to hear what the Spirit says unto the church, we have the divine possibility to have the word of God revealed by the Holy Spirit. I'm very honest. I would not see these things, and you would not see them. But if you see them, it's because God has given you the divine revelation. It's not you, it's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit leads us into all the truths of the Word of God. So, the message of the hour is the most important message. And all who will be part of the bride of Jesus Christ will have to hear the voice of the bridegroom. If you wish to be in the first resurrection, if you wish to partake in the rapture, if you wish to be with the Lord's Supper, then you have to read Revelation 19 also. Apocalypse 19, verse 7. Le and his bride has prepared herself. Et son épouse oh. s'est préparée. The bride has prepared herself. Son épouse s'est préparée. Just like in the natural, comme dans le naturel, if someone gives a promise to a lady, si un homme fait une promesse à une jeune fille, they are engaged. Ils sont engagés. A promise is made. La promesse a été faite. For marriage. Pour le mariage. First comes the word of promise. La de la promise. Two people meet. Les deux se sont they decide to go through life together. Se they make a promise. They are engaged. They have the promise to get married. And all the ladies in the city, don't worry about it, but the bride is but the bride Amen. The one who promised to be here It's the same with us. <laughs> the rest don't understand. The rest they shake their heads. They even say you follow a man. I would never follow a man. <laughs> we follow Jesus Christ. I will walk and say but he sends his prophets and we receive them. <laughs> and the promise is if you receive the promise <laughs> in my name, <laughs> you receive the reward of the prophets. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> we should have the same reward. <laughs> the same reward is the prophets. <laughs> because we believe the word God spoke for him. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So we believe as the scripture says. And we prepare. And the Lord will be with us. Right until we come to the final manifestation of the sons of God. The greatest things are yet to come. As we read here in Isaiah 58, it is a reality to us. He shall build up the old waste places. So he will raise the old foundations. He will be called the repairer of the bridge. There will be no more bridge. It will come together again. No more bridge. And then the restorer of the planted well. I said this also in closing. When the Lord called me to preach on April the 2nd, 62, you know my testimony. I've got no reason to tell you a story. 
But because of the direct call to the ministry, I also have a responsibility. No one will ever understand. I cannot compromise. I must say what God said in His Word. Regardless of what people say, to me, the Word of God remains the Word of God forever. Amen. Maybe God willing we shall touch on a number of things tomorrow which are going on within the message which are called the message. But the message is only the word of God. The message is the word and the word is the message. No interpretation is the message. This word is of no private interpretation. This word must be believed as it is written and revealed by the Holy Spirit. So we understand we got Graham and Henry Divine Commission. And two signs were given to him. And the angel said this, Moses was given two signs. Two signs are given to you. Moses, the first son, was to throw the stick on the ground. And the stick became a serpent. And the magicians came and did the same. But the serpent of Moses ate all the other serpents. And finally, Moses had the victory in his own hand. So there was no mistake. And the second was to put the hand in the bosom. And it was with leprosy. And then he put it again. And it was clean like a child's skin. Just two signs. Visible for all present. According to the will and word of God. The angel of the Lord said to Brother Bram. As Moses was given two signs. Two signs are given to you. One sign was that he was to take the patient's right hand no, with the left hand. His, his, yeah. He was to take the hands of the patient to put his own hand like this and the patient must not close their eyes but watch what happens on the back side of Brother Bram's hand whether it was a cancer or a tumor whatever it was the person had appeared in Brother Bram's hand I met Brother and Sister Gordon Lindsay I met Brother and Sister Gordon Lindsay and they were with Brother Bram in 46, 47, 48 and they were many times on the platform and especially Sister Lindsay who was German born and I was translating for Gordon Lindsay who who wrote the book A Man Sent from God how many times did they see the sign on Brother Branham's hand and the moment the patient was healed the illness disappeared from Brother Branham's hand there was a direct vibration like if the, the tumor would live and the moment the person was healed, the hand was clean. And the second sign was, the angel of the Lord said, if you stay humble, 
si tu demeures humble, a second sign will be given to you. Le deuxième signe te sera donné. You will even know the secrets of the heart. Tu connaîtras même les secrets du cœur. And you will know the circumstances in the lives of those you pray for. Et tu connaîtras même les circonstances qui sont arrivées dans les vies. And it will, it will be revealed unto you. Et cela te sera révélé. I cannot decide this was God, God's decision. I have no say so with Moses, I have no say so with Brother Branham. I just respect God's decision. Whatever God decides to do, that's up to him. I respect it. But there was a purpose connected to it. To draw the attention of God's people to the message of the hour. So that they will not only see great signs and wonders. But they will have parts in what God is presently doing. According to his promised word for this day. Please never forget it. The New Testament begins with the fulfillment of promise. I should mention it every time. There were all together 333 promises. 109 were fulfilled the first time of Christ. The rest are not being fulfilled. But here is the point. Over 100 promises were fulfilled at the first coming of Christ. But the scribes did not see that. The teachers did not see that. They continued with the services. Bring the sacrifices, singing the songs. My brothers and sisters, it's repeating, it's repeating. People continue in all churches, continue, continue. Even charismatic meetings, continue, continue. But this is God's time for God's people to show them the promised word for today and to show them that he is a plan of salvation and that we're coming to the end of the time of grace and before the great day of the Lord comes before the sun turns into darkness and the moon into blood God kept his word God sent the prophets yes. and we have the message of the hour. Yes. The word of God will be fresh from the throne of God to build upon the old foundation. The Apostle Paul writes, I lay the foundation. No other foundation can be laid. So the same foundation we have to tell the same apostolic teachings same apostolic power same apostolic ministries same gifts of the Holy Spirit there must be a full and total restoration are you ready for it? are you expecting it? amen amen according to our faith they shall be Praise be to God. Let us stand and pray. Make a noise something our midst. We never heard a few things before. If you have a problem to believe, brother and sister, we are ready to pray for you. This is the time to believe. We have not known about these things before. But since God opened our eyes, God's our understanding to know the scripture in its fulfillment. We see those things by divine revelation. We understand the time 
comprenons le temps the message, et aussi le message according to the plan of salvation, selon le plan du salut that all things have to be restored, que toutes choses doivent être rétablies and our hearts have to be turned again to the Lord God nos cœurs doivent être ramenés à notre Dieu away from all men made teachings loin de tous les enseignements humains coming out of all prisons and being delivered to serve God whom the Son makes free is free indeed so let it happen today let it happen with you I only have one question how many are ready to believe God's promised word and to accept what God has done in our time say Amen Amen Praise be to God. Amen. Now we should just pray together and believe together and receive together. Those who need salvation, receive your salvation through the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who need deliverance, receive your deliverance through the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who need healing, receive your healing by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. And we all need divine revelation. Receive your divine revelation through the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Believe in Scripture, say and it shall be revealed to you. We just praise God for the blood of the Lamb, for the word of God, for the power of the Holy Spirit to be at work in us and through us. Dear Lord, have your way and be with us. We thank you with all our hearts for your word for the ministry of your prophets, for the message of the hour, your promised word for this day. We thank you for letting us have part in it. Bless each and every one, each and every one, even those who came for the first time. May they know that this is God's plan. God's plan of salvation, God's promised word. And may they receive it and may the divine revealed by the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of the Lord. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. God bless you. The brothers will announce the meeting for tomorrow. And if we need some more chairs, just invite some of them. And I'm sure God bless us again. I thank my beloved brother for the wonderful translation. The next time we should only speak in English. Amen. Amen.
prayed for us. Le frère Franck a prié pour nous. But I want to thank you.